Alright, so so much for the party. Sa iyo just good tama ba ni ba? Itingog sa buhi. Napa mo? Kamusta? Pas pas ra ba? Okay na sir. Okay na sir. Okay na sir. Okay na sir. So para sa iyo tama mo ba? Dito na pag alas 6. Sige. So padayon ko for the part 3. Part 3 which is the property survey general methodology. Say uh, general workflow or general flow chart you no know, sa property survey. So when we say um, property surveying, this involves three major activities. No? First is the legal and technical ex- uh, research. Two is field surveys, uh, field work na dyan. And lastly is the preparation of maps and reports. So isa isa hon. These are the main process of property surveys done in three simple steps. They are for, they they are una legal or technical research. So in this part, property surveyors will do the job of legal research. When we say legal research, uh, ka, uh, data, makuha ka sa im- data sa im- specific na lot into the uh, uh, assigned agencies. Like for example. Um, for example, uh, sa land, sa isa ka parcel, so dapat mato ka sa uh, DNR for uh, technical description. And for titles, pwede ka mato sa ROD, which is kung ano mo kung titulado ba siya ng yuta. Or kung untitled ang isa ka yuta, for example, uh, public land, so wala pa nakatitulo, so mato ka sa central. Community Environment Nat- Environment and Natural Resources Office. Sa inyo yung specific na uh, locality. Kung asa na bilang na sendro inyo ka. Like for example, si Botuan City. So nasulod na siya sa sendro na city. I know. Yes, sendro na city. Or for example, San Francisco. No? Nasulod na siya sa sendro Bonawan. Yan na ang mga cases. No? So they will search uh they will search and find out the history of the property deed including a title search no? title search so sa ROD ka na. and all the adjacent property so, syempre dili lang necessary nga kung atong specific na lang in a survey mura pud ko imo ang i research dapat imo po i research ang adjoining ni nga lots no e para ma check nimo ang iyang boundaries kung sakto ba Next is base maps and lot data computations. No? And in lot data computations, kung nagitawag na ito ng LDC, LDC, ma-research siya po na siya sa PEMR. Alright, so balik tayo. No? Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, ano ito natin? Okay. Base maps and lot data computations. No? Kung may tayo lot data computations, is makuha na ito na siya sa DNR. No? And also, no, i-check na to na siya kung sakto ba ang pag-compute sa area. No. And also, um, ano siya no? Pwede niyo makuha sa agencies or institutions. So this will ensure that the property does not have any discrepancies. No. Importante po, may check na to ang iyang title no? kung registrado ba din siya sa ROT. Okay. Pag once na mabutang na sa ROT ang titulo, mabutang na siya sa pinakatluyo nga part sa yung mga parts sa imong titulo na nakabotang dira ang mga encumbrances like for example ang kaning uh, specific nga isa ka specific nga title is one ba siya gi-loan ba ni siya gi-collateral ba ni siya and so on so naka entry na siya dito sa pinakalikod sa encumbrances so importante na you need to determine no kung uh, si clean ba ang titulo sa imong uh, lote so, one ang first na main step, which is the technical research. So, mani siya, no? For example, uh, isakat ang title. So, um, nana siya, no? Memorandum of encumbrances. Pinakatungay niya siya. So, yung minimum entry number one, no? Kung ikuan ba niya, gilawan ba niya, and many more, no? Any kind of encumbrances, ibutang na, i-indicate na siya. Basta na-rehistro na siya sa ROD. So, this is example of a blueprint. No? Blueprint of a lot. 
makuha niyo niya sa DA Impar. DA Impar. Next is uh, lahat data computations. Mo niya na? Uh, makuha niyo siya kung sakto ba ang iyang area, ang indicate ang area. So sa tuong laboratory exercises, sa tuong buhatan na, magbuhat ng mga ni lahat data computations. So next part of the uh, methods or the general methodology of the property surveying is the field survey. So after the researching of the land, the property surveyors will now do the field surveying in which they will visit your land and have a uh, look at it. The surveyor will draw out and sketch the property of the boundaries and edges and the elements of and its characteristics. So Based sa imuhang, based sa imuhang research, based sa imuhang research, flat ni mo to siya na data. For example, lingan, mo ni ang parcel no, sa land or a piece of land. Tapos, imo ni din siyang i-actual no, sa ground kung aha na siya malocate or asa na siya ma-point uh, ma out sa actual. Imo ni siyang i-actual kung aha na fit ning Corner 1, as ang corner 1, as ang corner 2, 3, and 4. Next um, step is the map and report. Finally, the surveyors will provide a map. For example, um, si client is the request for relocation survey. So, research ni mo to siya, lahat ito computations, and so on. Then, imo siyang i-plot, no? i-plot, then i-field ang kaning corresponding na corners imo siyang i-fill then you can create now the map sa specific locations so map that includes the legal boundary details of your property they will also provide a report mentioning the coordinates address location adjacent properties and possible land improvements una bang makita ninyo sa sa for example sketch plan no may nakabutan dito ang approved technical description kay sa kilid ni mo tang technical description asa na katay aha ang tie line no bring up part is kung kinsay nag request sa survey so si client no na di nakabutang si client aha na butang ang address sa lugar sa sa, sa lote um, certification no na nakabutang nga ang um, uh, decertifies nga ang ang kaning Location sa boundary and ilat corner 1 to 3, 4 is uh, accurate and precise based on the uh, data that was acquired in the DNR, or ODIPA, or ASA. No? Which is permahan na yun siya ni Geodetic Engineer. Kamo. No? Okay. And so this is an example of field survey, no? So actual survey, my instrument, my gamit ng instrument, kuhaan ninyo yung Kuha ano niyo o um, for this one. Measurements like distance, uh, um, uh, angles, so ano na siya na, for surveys. So next is, oh, na siya, sketch plan. No? Is this an example of sketch plan? No? So, indicate niya ang technical description, uh, sketch plan, o kung sa mga lot, kung sa mga PLS, Kinsa nag-request ani survey asa makitan uh, ilay area bearings and scale so nadiri ang certification for the survey then by the geodetic engineer so another um, example of the search all right so part 4 naman data no, for part 4, last part na niya class. No? Pero taas, medyo taas, taas na siya. Introduction to property loss. No? Hmm, sige, let's start. Which is the introduction to property loss and other ex existing related loss about property. So let us define what is property. Property is all things. No? All things which are or may be the object of appropriation. Anan pwede ma-acquire or ma-own? No? Like for example, um, 
properties na uh, land, no? pwede man siya ang punon. No? Tanan, pwede ang punon, that's what we call a property. Object ka object, dili person. No, it was in ang punon na person, lahat na na siya. So, object. No? Object for appropriation. Or, pwede ma, ah, pwede ma ang punon. So, what are the rights to the property? Sa itong mga uh, right no? sa isa ka specific property na kung i-own. So, natay, itawag na real right. No? Kung na po tayo itawag na personal right. Pag may yung tawag real right, it is the right or interest belonging to a person over the specific thing without definitive passive uh, subject against whom such right may be personally enforced. Real right is, uh, ato ni siyang, uh, pwede na to ma uh, dili siya pwede ma, ma babalhin no? or this is the right over the immovable objects you no know? like for example lands no and so may lain trees no kanang dili pwede mabalhin so that's a, a real right when you say personal right it's the right of a person to demand from another as a definitive passive subject the fulfillment of like latter sub uh, obligation for example, nakaihatag na papel, no? nakaihatag na kwarta, nakaihatag na... Basta tanan, pwede... Uh, kani pong si personal right is for movable objects. No? Movable, kanan pwede mabalikin. So that's a personal right. So, um, classifications of uh, property. So We have first according to nature. So, Classify nyo ang property based on its um, uh, immovable ba siya or movable? Immovable, uh, immovable property or kanang itawag na ito real property. So, immovable is cannot be carried, dili po din nag-own, sag-asa. No? Attached to an immovable or fixed manner to an integral part thereof. No? So, sa may example, kanang um, TV na naka-attach sa inyong wall. So that's considered as immovable, immovable property or paintings na naka-attach sa inyong wall. So that's considered as immovable property. Though, um, matawag na siya ng movable kay paintings man. Pero once na na siyang i-attach or i-fix sa isa ka location na which is um, immovable, so that will be considered as immovable property. So attached to an immovable or fixed manner to be an integral part thereof, it is placed in an immovable or the utility that utility it gives to the activity care thereon. So classified as express provision of law because it is uh, regarded as united to an immovable property. So that's uh, 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 number one for according to nature na classification. Number two is the movable property. Balik tara ni siya ni immovable property. Or itawag na siya oh, personal property. It is a real property, real property considered personal property by special provisions of law. No? Forces of nature, in general, all movable things. And it can be uh, an obligation or action. Balhin balhin. No? Like for example, bello, no? car, so, nailain. That's a personal property. So according to ownership, no? Uh, properties according to ownership. First is public dominion. Public dominion is the property owned by the state in its public and sovereign capacity. And is intended for public use and not for the use, not of that, for the use of the juridical person. Does not import the idea of ownership not owned by the state but simply under its jurisdiction and administration. So it is outside the commerce of For example, kanang alsada, parks, no? Parks kanang uh, monya mo sa makita niyo ang monya ng Rizal. So that's a public dominion. Though dili siya dili siya owned by the state, but the but, but the the state has its jurisdiction to maintain the property. All right. So some example of properties in public dominion is property interested for public use. For example, moto siya, no? Palsada. Intended some specific public service no? 
for example, so may example, kaya mga locations sa uh, mga buildings sa governments intended for development of the national wealth. Ano na siya mga examples of public dominion properties. We have also private ownership, property owned by the state in its private capacity. So, um, property, no, siya, private capacity and is known as patrimonial property. So, private ownership, kung ang, isa ka, ang, ang specific part of the land, no, is uh, ang nag-iya na niya is government. No? Ang tawag na niya is patrimonial property. So, when you say patrimonial property, is that which belongs to the state as a private individual without being devoted to common use. So, na nag-iya ni is uh, uh, isa, ka, isa, ka, ang isa ka parcel no? pag patrimonial property na siya ang nag-own na, na is the government. No? Is uh, private uh, Individual, as, a, as a capacity of a private individual. For example, kanang mga private property, like for example, no, this is a parcel of land, tapos sa isa ka parcel of land na nag-iya kay si Kuan, si, uh, si Princess, no? si Princess, nag-iya aning specific nga land. No? And then si Princess, wala siya ay uh, for example, no, si Princess then, ah, uh, wala siya anak. Wala po siya iba na. So, um, pag panahon na mawala na si Princess, for example, mamatay siya, simba po, no? Mamatay siya, tapos wala siya anak na pwede ka balhinan, no? Of course, wala mo na siya. Okay, hindi man matransfer. So, pag mawala na si Princess, so ang land, wala na yung magbayad sa tax. No? So, pag, pag, wala na mabayad sa tax so required na kay wala naman siya direct na ear na pwede ipasahan unless otherwise nagbilin siya og will and testament pero pag wala um, directly i, i acquire ni siya sa government no acquire niya sa government so that is not a property of the government in its uh, as, as its uh, private individual no ang tawag na niya is patrimonial property and the way of how to acquire this land, ang process ang nagkitawag na pag-acquire na katahay. Uh, wala na yung mo, mo, wala na yung musunod. Wala na yung mo, wala siya ear na pwede mo kuha ani. No? Or wala siya ka na ikabinlan, ani ng yuta. Tapos makuha, no, ma, uh, i-acquire mo siya sa government. Ang tawag na process ana is what we call SG. SG. So, under na siya sa patrimonial property. Okay. So, next is properties of private ownership. All property belonging to the private persons, either individual or collectively, and those belong to the state of any of its political subdivisions which are patrimonial in uh, nature. So, di na masunod ang ato private ownership like uh, um, isa ka parcel of land na uh, na nay na nag-iya no a specific person so there are uh, under sa private ownership natay tulo ka klase kani gitawag nga conjugal capital or paternal conjugal property is the property of the husband and wife acquired after marriage so after marriage kung uh, natong inyong na acquire na property sa sa pag after ninyo bikasal, so that's considered as conjugal. But karo no, default naman siya na pag once na minyo mo ang um, um, husband na naka-acquire of property before sa lang marriage and si wife po na siya na-acquired before marriage. Pag once kastlon sila, automatic na makonjugal property to. So that's absolute property of community. Yes, kung siya tawag. So when we say capital pa- property, this is property for husband only. Naman po na kaya ang, ang absolute community of property is naman po na siya or kung nagitawa na ito conjugal property. Naman po na siya restrictions. No? Yung tahay, na magid na ka ng property nga pang, has, pang husband rag yun. No? For example, uh, sa so may example na pang lalaki rag na property. And na po ito nagitawa na parafernal. Parafernal is property for the wife alone. 
mga personal things nga pang babae lang and apoy personal uh, personal na things nga pang husband lang. so that's capital and proper so we have also another term which what we call usufruct Usufruct is the right to enjoy the property of another with the obligation of preserving its form and substance unless the title constituting it or the law otherwise provides. Real right of uh, real right of use and enjoyment of the temporary duration, transmissible, or may, or may be constituted, constituted on real, uh, real or personal property. So, pasabot to anong usufruct is, for example, um, so my example ani be ah um, na isa ka parcel of land si kinsa na man pud tawag doon si si Honey Jane no? na na say parcel of land tapos uh, wala siya din nagpuyo sa kaning kaning parcel of land na yo siya so ang use of use of use of rock or use of rock quarry is na say imbutang dela nga person no ngayan binlan ani nga na parcel of land so, let's say si 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 Trizia no? si Trizia Moralda so si Honey Jane na siya uh, ibili niya si Trizia na para mo cultivate or mo preserve or mo, mo, mo gamit ani nga yuta pero din dili na mga yu si si Honey Jane no kung kung fruits or kanang income or abot ani nga lot ni Ang iyan lagi pang is i-preserve lang, no? i-preserve lang ang form, kung sa forma, no? and so on. Tapos kung naman ganyan siyang gusto i-change diri as sa isa ka location, dapat man ang itsiya sa tag-iya. Iyan na siya ang use of rock. Then ang, abu, ang bayad sa pagbantay ni, ni Trizia is katun ng abot ani nga uh, uh, lote. Like for example, magtanong siya nila ang saging. Um, siya, kamote. So ang ang, ang income at tong saging ug kamote, mao to siya kibali ang iyang uh, in return sa pagbantay ni ani asa. Uh, so pwede na siya ma pwede na siya ma-transmit sa so, sunod na sunod na generations and pwede pud na siya ma-cut no kung gusto ko na ni uh, ni Adige ah, which is nang So encumbrance of servitude no an immovable eh, uh, an encumbrance imposed upon the immovable for the benefit of another belonging to the different owner so example any class is katong is men no is men ka tong na kung gi discuss na dapat mo hatag siya og dalan is men of right of way uh, matag sa dire required ni siya mo hatag si a kang b para makaagi siya sa para maka-access siya sa room required na siya. So that's encumbrance of servitude. Ownership, when we say ownership, so tapos na uh, discuss a property, so let's discuss ownership. Now, ownership is independent right of a person to an exclusive enjoyment and control of a thing, including its disposition and recovery, subject only to the restrictions or limitations established by law and the right of the others. So this is exercise over things or rights. Ownership ang pagpanaiya. Right ni mo to own or right ni mo sa isa ka specific na uh, isa ka specific na property which is na ka exclusive enjoyment no? and control. So na ka exclusive uh, right ano ni. So that's ownership. So uh, ownership can be exercise over things or rights. So when you say things, any material or object and when you say uh, rights, it's an incorporeal property, whether real or personal. We discussed this the rights. So, these are the rights no? that you can exercise on your specific kung sa own na property. Or ang nagitawag ni siya o uh, ang right na term ani sa law ay ko uh, bundle of rights. Ang right na term ani. Sinchay ako lagi ha. Pwede na kung makontrol o click. So bundle of rights ang tawag na ni. So first is natay gitawag na just possess or the right to possess. 
a specific property, jus utendi, or the right to use or enjoy a specific property, jus rowendi, or the right to the fruits. Sabot sa fruits kana income, no income, including the income of the uh, anything ang attached diha ah. like for example bunga sa durian yung naka, nga naka, nga naka uh, for example naka attach na niya no? or for example kung ang specific property is uh, boarding house no? ang rent anak niya plus is what we call fruits no? basta kay pwede mo pwede nga uh, generate out from the um, features na na added to us uh, specific nga uh, property or specific nga Look, uh, lot or land. Next is juice accessories. The right to accessories. Right to accessories. Anything that ni attach sa land is na right? Right. Iyahan, iyahan ang panagiya. Tanan ni attach sa land, ang tagiya na is ang atong nakane or owner or na specific na land. Juice abotendi. Right to consume. Consume kung kung sa'yo na-added to. Rise to this uh, just disponendi or the right to dispose or alienate. Pwede nyo ibaligya, pwede po nyo paliton or makakasaba. Huh? Just vindicandi, the right to recover possession and or, and or ownership. So, kung nyo nang ibaligya, tapos kung gusto nyo mo balikot o kaya't ibali, uh, iprenda nyo mo sa specific nga person, then ang paabot sa time is gusto nyo nyo siya i-recover or gusto nyo nyo siya uh, lokaton. So, you have the right for that because it is one of the bundle of rights din na sa, sa property. So these are the limitations, no? Limitations on the right of ownership. First is imposed in the general in general by the state. So though na kay um though na na kay uh, bundle of rights is specific na uh, ownership pero pag once si state na gani uh, mag magsulti nga for example ana nga ang imong property is na igo sa na iplano ang government dira uh, for example i imo magihan og kalsada or magihan og uh, train so that's a limitation so di na ka pwede mo refuse ana kay uh, si state naman ang nag uh, ang nagsulti imposed by law do na kay um uh, lagi na kay uh, absolute na ownership sa imong isa ka naka exclusive na rights sa imong um, i-own na property pero dapat subject for the laws and regulations in the Philippines no? like for example sa imong lote no gusto uh, man nimo siya diba you have all the rights on that specific uh, plant kung imo siya di own but for example si Long Wei nga bawal magsunog og basura no bisan pa Ano, ano man, na ako ka man yung lote, so pwede ko, free ko mo, sunog sa ako ang kuhan, basura, basura dili sa ako ang land, di ako ang hinig. Or bawal mag-cut o ka ng mga hardwood trees, no? like for example, Nara, na kay Nara sa imbuhang, sa imbuhang uh, location of land. Tapos di ba, bawal mo na siya, like cut ang mga hardwoods like Nara. So, bisa yung pag-inig, nakaputlon ko ni, kaya ako man yung, ako man yung itanong, ako yung itanong, I have all the rights on my, on my own. Pero, Lagi naman tayo loss na existing, ang bawal na siya ikat ng mga kind of trees. So, diligent na siya pwede. Though na akay, we have, you have all the exclusive rights. Imposed by the grantor of the property. So, sulod ni siya kung kintahay na ay tenant, no? Kung nara kay gibilin dito. So, kung ang imuhang tenant or ang imuhang grantor mo imuhang na, dili na siya pwede buhaton, ay, buhaton ka dilimang pwede imuhang property. Imposed by the owner, same bagay po na concept, then arising from conflicts, no? Uh, or the private uh, private rights. Example, uh, so may example na niyo, conflicts or private rights. Um, let's say, uh, nag-fence, na yung nag adjoining uh, owner, eh, nag-fence siya. No? Nag-fence siya, tapos nakakadiri ha, na portion. Diri mo ang, diri mo ang, portion of land. Then, wala ni mga fence, no? Pero, nagtanong ka diri ako kuan, nagtanong ka diri ako, let's say, manga, hilid sa uh, ibang property. Pero, uh, muna siya ganyan, no? Arising from conflicts of private rights. Kung kaning, kaning, kaning siya nga fence, 
Tapos na yung mangga diri. Ah. So, ang, ang labot be sa mangga kay pal, pal, palat, uh, pa, pakatag. So, may tendency nga, malupat ni or ma, ma, maguba ni ang iyong friends. No? So, out from that, maka-arise na siya of conflicts. No? So, kung do, na kay na kay na kay exclusive right kay mo man ning lote pero dapat imo i-consider na okay dili siya pwede ta man diri ang dagko makahoy kay possible na malupat ni friend so mo arise na siya conflicts so that's one of uh, that's the limitations of the right of ownership daw na ka lagi uh, freedom on what you're going to do in your specific uh, uh, specific parcel or a muhang uh, yuta. So, there are also limits of ownership, uh, owners, ownership of the properties. No? This was uh, the power of the government. So, Una, police power. No? Though you have a freedom of your specific land, uh, specific ownership sa muhang land, so, natin kita wag police power. So, the power of the government or agencies to regulate private real estate ownership to protect the well-being and the general welfare of its, its citizens. Police power. So, right me, uh, right me government to take over your property or to take uh, to take responsibilities no, sa police power. Like, for example, kanang ang imuhang property is kana makakos of nuisance no inamintag nuisance plus kana makahindrans ba makahindrans sa isa ka sa isa ka thing no? or sa isa ka makahindrans sa or ma discriminate ang other na pod na na bundle of rights sa imong adjoining owners no? for example na kailat uh, kana nuisance of noise no noise for example noise kanang saba kayo imong imong isa ka uh, imong property like, for example kanang mga property owners sa kanang mga clubs no and bars and so on so si 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 government is na si power no na regulate na siya na okay aman ra mo alas gis pa wala mo sa basa do you have all the the freedom okay supposedly in common property they can do all in pero mo lagi naman tay police power so regulate na siya ni uh, government syempre para dili pud ka maka disturbo sa uban no Besides. next is the eminent domain no? this is the power of the government to take private property for public use upon payment of just compensation so mo ni siya example ka nan uh, so why do you need no? no so power na sa government na pagbayin ko nga, okay, uh, mapawidening ko ka ron, makuha na yung yuta. So, uh, wala kayo mamuha. Okay, it's uh, the property, or it's the it's the government ang detail na kuha o na ko ang kanang specific na uh, yuta. Pero of course, we just compensation. And, um, I mean, when you say eminent domain, no? for example, sa kanang pagkuha sa road widening, for example, nato ko ninyo. So, muna yung road, muna yung property. Tapos, na yung nakukaan ka may sa yung mga property. So, ang power ang nag-impose ay na is what we call eminent domain. Pero ang process sa pagkuha ay na, na, na portion of lot or portion of land ni mo is what we call expropriation. Appropriation. Process niya. Process of pagkuha. Modes of acquiring the specific um, parcel. Expropriation. Expropriation. Okay. Next is the power of taxation. No? Government collects taxes to the property of the uh, for the general support of the state and for the maintenance of the public service. One ang each. One ang natagitawag na anang or mo nang magbayad ka always of tax no sa atong real uh, nagitaw na tog real estate tax no tanan taxable na properties is para pag magbayad example lang yung hang uh, residential residential land kung dito lado na siya or di magay dito lado dito lado basta kay di occupy ni mo siya you are required to pay tax for the government so 
na every year magbayad sa to ang real estate tax. S cheat so man akong gingon ganina, no? The reversion of the property to the government when the owner dies without leaving a will or heirs. So, wala na yung sumusunod, wala na yung mo, wala na yung sumunod na acquire ano ng land. So, i-revert na siya sa government. Ngayon na siyang patrimonyo ng property. Tawag na niya is S cheat ang process. So, let's talk about co-ownership. Co-ownership is a form of ownership that exists whenever an, whenever an undivided thing or right belongs to a different person. So, ownership from the word itself, duha. Duha ka po ang managiya. Co-own po ang nagsaka property. The requirements of co-ownership is there is a plurality of or, uh, owners or two or more. And object of the ownership must be a thing or right which is undivided. Dili pwede ma divide co own na siya. Pwede siya mahi mo co ownership na pamahal. Each co owner's right must be limited only to his ideal share of the physical whole. Though na amoy tahay mo niya siyang specific na uh, land no, or specific property, tapos dili siya pwede ma subdivide. Okay, for example, ga may lakay niya parcel of land. Say, for example, 50 square meter. No? 50 square meter. So, hindi siya ma-divide. So, ano pa man yung pag-divide na daghan mo magsuon, let's say, uh, 8 mukha mo magsuon, divide na ito ng 50 square meter. Ilan na lang? No? So, 6 point something na lang ka square meter. So, ano na nito ang 60 square meter. So, undivided siya. So, manang kulit na pwede siya masulod o co-ownership. No? Co-ownership, so, pintahe ka itong atong uh, 8 ka magsuon, Co-own sila ani. Pero, uh, uh, limited ni siya to the ideal share of the physical as a whole. So, for example, sa 50 square meter, balay ni siya. So, uh, pwede siya nga, kani, imunin yung isang kwarto, kani, imunin yung isang kwarto, kani. No? Or, ang pinaka-ideal is, ibaligya na lang, tapos tumaon sa mga sila. Then, tunga sila sa uh, bayad or sa katong Ipa, uh, uh, value sa katong kanina building tungod kay co-ownership na sila. Next is partition. It's the division between two or more persons of real property or personal property which they own in common so that each of may enjoy and possess his sole estate with the exclusion of the and of without the, the interference from the others. So, Muna siya ang kasabot na katong i tunga, -tunga na siya subdivide or partition kung bilas na kang mag -tuman. So let's go to the modes of acquiring ownership. No? There are seven modes of acquiring ownership. Low as mod or a mode, tradition, occupation, intellectual creation, donation, prescription, and succession. So this is not only applies to ano, no? uh, um, real property. So pwede po siya sa personal property. So first is low as mode, no? First, uh, first mode of uh, acquiring ownership. First is recognized as mode of acquisition because of the law provides. Kung, kung ang law ihatag na sa same mga nga, uh, you are going to own that. For example, a uh, um, parcel of land, no? Imong di apply yan, no? and the uh, decision, the certificate, para po din nimo siya pa titulan. Then that's a uh, the law suggest na imuha na siya, no? imuha na yun mga property. Next is tradition. A derivative mode of acquiring uh, ownership and, and other real rights by virtue by, of which there be intention and capacity on the part of the grantor and grantee. And the pre-existence of the said right in the state of the grantor. They will be transmitted in the grantee through a just title. Uh, when we say just title, from the word itself, no, it's a titulo, titulo lang. Kasulatan, no, that's example, uh, just title. Hindi na siya gina, gina, gina dawat, no, kung mag-title, kung pa-title tao. Like for example, no, example na yung tradition is kanyang kanang mga uh, indigenous people, indigenous people. So nasa lay parcel of land, titulado, Ang itawag na ito ang kanang ancestral domain, no? ancestral domain title. 
So, uh, ilan na siyang ma-transmit, kaya di man nila ma-transmit sa ilang own name. So, they can, they just have, uh, just title. Masulatan niya, okay, tirain mo mga portion, tirain mga portion, so, so tradition. Next is occupation, appropriation of things, appropriable by nature, which are, which are without an honor. Seizure of things, corporeal, which have no honor, with the intention of acquiring the ownership uh, there. So, naipamagi nga, uh, sa unang panahon, labinag ko itong, anong itawag na itong kanang sa, sa GE, kanang homestead, no, homestead patent, or free patent, or patent as a whole, no, na ihatag sa inyo pag makultivate ka ng specific land. Kung i-occupy niyo siya in, uh, kita ay walay owner, no, or, uh, for example, 30 years, ang required at ani is 30 years, 30 years din mo siya i-cultivate without uh, without kanang mo claim bitaw na other or 30 years in good faith or kanang mo right na ta good faith so pasabot sa good faith plus kanang walay walay sulod lalain na owner na ni ni claim ang iyahan iyahan ang yuta ni ang cultivate so ma ma acquire niyo na siya through occupation and pwede po siya 10 years if i'm not mistaken pero correct mo na 10 years in bad faith sabot sa bad faith if there is no if there is a person claiming na iyahapon na siya Pag 10 years, sa imuhang yapon ang yuta, 10 years, so pwede nyo siya ma-acquire through occupation. Next is intellectual creation, or kanang itawad itong intellectual property, or naging yes, ITs. So, original mode of acquiring ownership for by creations or project of one's mind or intellect becomes his exclusive property, giving him, giving him the right to authorize or refuse the publication or production of such creations. Example, pinaka, oh, ano, pinaka basic is kung nakay ma-discover or nakay ma-invent na uh, device or any, no? tapos gusto, para, para ma-aim mo siya na uh, makapatent na sa iyo or ma-recognize ma ang iyong work is dapat na mong file ka of uh, acquiring ownership through intellectual creation. Intellectual property is the totality of all things which the law recognizes in favor to the author or persons with respect to the creations, product, and peace. Next mode is donation. Donation is the act of liberality whereby a person disposes gratuitously of a thing or right in favor to another who succeeds. From the word itself, you donate ni mo sa uban. Iyakalim mo sa uban ang inyong property. Prescription is one acquires ownership and the other real rights through the lapse of time no? in the manner and under the conditions laid down by the law. Prescription, kung imuha nang di uh, mahatag sa imuha once na ibabayaan. For example, uh, anong natawag na itong abandonment sa yuta. No? Mag-iabandonin mo ang ang um, inyong specific nga land so tapos na binag na yung squat dito yung squat sa specific na uh, imo ang location then yung murang ipasagdan no? so night tendency na makuha dyan na yung property through the lapse of time succession mode of uh, acquisition by virtue of the which the property rights and obligations to the extent of the value of inheritance Inheritance of a person is transmitted upon his death to another, either by will or operation of death. Pag nai-will, ito yung masunod, mga kulang testament. And operation by law, kung pintahay, kasi ang iyang anak, no? anak sa katong namatay, so automatic na siya by, by operation of law, kung ako na siya lang. Kung ma-equal. So another right is the accession. When we say accession, is the right pertaining to the owner of a thing over everything which is produced thereby or which incorporated or attached thereto 
either naturally or uh, artificially. Fruits in addition to or improvements upon the thing. Example, building, planting, and sowing. So, accession tanen, no? You have all the rights no? that is attached, no? That is um, attached there. Tanan nakatatch yung property in yung anak. Na, yung right anak. Ang tawag ka nung right is right to accession. Accessories is the things joined to or included with the principal thing or latter's embellishment, uh, embellishment uh, better use for completion. Accessories, uh, if ikaw tag iya na kay right to all the accessories or the all things attached, all things attached is the ang tawag niya is accessories. Ang tawag sa right is accession. So, kinds of accession. In the uh, first is the accession discreta, extension of the right to the products of a of a thing which belong to us a uh, uh, such person. So what uh, niya is um, discrete, no? mga discrete na accessories acquired na niya through accession uh, accession discreta products, no? Totoong talan yung produce no sa imong uh, property tawag na niya is uh, accession discrete and accession continua extension of the right uh, to that which is incorporated or attached to a thing belongs to such person tan na attach sa katong attach or incorporated sa isa ka uh, uh, isa ka property then imuha na to siya then we have also accession natural. And in accession natural, na siya yung duha classic. First is ang alluvion. Alluvion is the accretion uh, which the banks or the river gradually gradually receive, receive from the effects of the water and and which belongs to the owners of the land adjoining to the said banks. Requirements. No? Accumulation of the soil or sediment must be gradual or in First, so example ani niya class is kanang ibalin ang kay na nakay property tapos sa river dire adjoin ko due time no uh, na tendency na madugangan ang imong portion sa land tapad sa owner tapad sa river na poy uban na pag dire mo ha no, na tendency nga makuhaan imong uh, area tawag anak niya plus ang um, ang tawag anak niya process is alluvion kung gradually no kana di mo bantayan ba ng halo nigamay lagi ang ako ang lote nigamay lagi ako ang property because of the movements or effects of the water no? so dapat kung makaingon tag alluvion alluvion or the process of alluvion ang yung accumulation sa soil or sediment must be gradual inahinay di mo siya mabantayan Accretion results from the effects or actions of the current of the waters of the river. The land we're in, accretion takes place, must be adjacent to the river bank or uh, adjacent to the river. So, alluvion ang tawag pag gradually ang deposit. Pag ngayon po tag avulsion, avulsion is the accretion which takes place when the current of the river, creek or torrent segregates a known portion of a land from a state to its bank and transfer to another state. Requirements. Segregation do ko no must be caused by current, uh, current or river, uh, creek or torrent. And the segregation of the transfer must be sudden or abrupt. Mahibokan mo, makit anjo din mo ba? Identify ni mo nga? Okay, like for example, sa isa ka river, Adrian ni Kulan, tapos na kay lobby kita nung dia ah nakita no then after after sa bagyo or sog na ulan si si kaning kaning imuha lobby is mapalulong na diya sa kaning nga owner no uh, ang tawag na niya is avulsion process of abrupt sudden or abrupt or by identifying accretion is uh, when you say accretion class di ba accession is the right no Ang mga accretion is the addition or increase received by the land. So, process ni siya. The process na pag-add or pag-increase. 
sa isa ka portion sa lahat. So, kung ato siyang i-compare, no? si Abol, uh, alluvion. Alluvion is a question is gradual. Question is cannot be identified. And merely an attachment. Inahinay. So, uh, abulsion is sudden. Pinalike anang one abrupt. And ang uh, question is can be identified. There is a detachment followed by attachment. Kung nawala or naanod yung lubi yung itanong, so ang katong ma-attach is nasa pikas portion. So ang decision na niya sa pag-determine sa ownership is pag alluvion, ang accretion belongs to the owner of the land to which attachment is made. So kung ang imuhang portion sa land is kani, ang river, tapos nakuhaan yung portion and ni-attach diri sa pikas, kani, nabagangan yung area. Ang managiyan na ni Karun is kaninang owner. Ang bilhin na ikaw. And al avulsion, the ownership is retained by the owner of the land from which is detached for a certain period. For example, um, sa isa ka uh, lot, no? Diliya isa. Let's say, for example, um, land, no? Naanod yun siya. Ako kaya tipak sa yuta. Naanod na panulong diri ah. Nagulangan ang iya ka. So, ang ang um, Ownership is retained niya po sa kani, uh, retained siya, given nga, mabawi niya in a period of two years, kung land. Pero pag uh, trees, six months lang. Pintahay, yung lobby draining mo is na naanod na padulong dali ang nabalihin siya. So, pwede niyo siya mabawi already in six months. And position, no? Um, when we say possession, it's a holding of a thing or enjoyment of a right, either by material occupation or by the fact of um, subjecting the thing or right to the action of or of our will. This is to actually and physically occupy a thing with or without a right. Possession. Kung, kung naka right, so wala siya nga possession, uh, good. No? And pag wala kay right, bad possession na siya. Wala na. Ah, nakadukog na bang mga ng yung tawag nila professional squatter professional squatters sa Manila o sa Pina siya professional uh, squatters so from the word itself squat nakipuyo pa sa yuta na diliin so ah uh, kung hindi mo siya i-possess misag with or without right and down. With, uh, with or without the right. So, pwede niyo siya i-possess, bad possession and good possession. So, nai forms or decree of possession. Ang itawag na ito nga, possession without any title whatsoever. Na nag-squat dyan siya. I-possess niya ang isang part, portion of land or portion of the property. Na wala siya yung gumitan niya isa din sa. Yan na lang siya nira ha, para yes mo po yun. Possession with a juridical title. Sabot sa juridical title, uh, imuhang yuta, uh, imuhang uh, nakap-title sa imuha, pero natin din siya i-squat sa sa uban. No? Na binag-bilit ka dyan ang tuyo sa specific na location. Next is possession by just title. From the word itself, just title. Dilikid siya, dilikid siya ka na nakapangalan sa imo ha pero uh, nakait kasulatan or katibayan pero hindi siya hindi siya juridically approved and lastly is possession with title in fee simple so about the title in fee simple you have all the exclusive rights title plus ikaw pa gid ang nag-possess sa sa kanahi ay mo ha mantanan so there are also modes of uh, losing, no? losing possession. First is but abandon na. Kung imo ang dibat abandon na or imo ang pabayaan na. Next is by assignment or imbihatag sa uban in possession. By destruction, total loss, withdrawal from commerce. So 
ma-dyspraxia or ma-magyuhan, ma- no? Ang balay dito ang itukod is magpupa. Total loss, no? From, balik ka zero. Kaya yung itundar ka na. Specifically sa balay ni, no? Ang mga balay na uh, talo na ma-destroy uh, naturally. So, possession of another for more than one year. So, kung sobra nag one year, i-possess sa uban. So, makawala na sa inyo ang possession rights. Recovery by lawful owner or possessor. May tabo ni siya kung uh, ibali na, na i-possess din mo kayo, napalit din mo siya sa, sa isa, ka, isa ka owner. Specifically, pag kanabi kang mga yuta sa kanang carp, ng comprehensive agrarian reform program or if you're familiar ng yuta mo ina once a dollar ina atag no? so within dapat pa, uh, within if I'm not mistaken 5 to 10 years dapat dili, pwede ibalik ya sa beneficiary sa car ang yuta, yuta no? within 5 years pero na may uban no? na after sa 5 years ibalik ya din sa mga anak Pero, I mean, they a recovery of local owner or possessor kung, ibali, uh, kung ibaligya ang yuta sa car sa other person, sa private person. Private person. And nakadecide ang mga anak na uh, palitan ng balik. No? Dapat naman na sila ikuan, ibalik. Ang, ang, ang mga anak is na sila right na i-recover ang ilang yuta ang higit na binagigit sa car in dapat in 5 years if I'm not mistaken I'm not really sure pero na-specific na, 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 na year uh, pwede nila ma-recover o balik ang ilang binagigit like for example gibaligya sa tag-iya sa car no? tag-iya sa beneficiary sa car then ang mga anak is may oppose so na-i 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 write ang mga anak karoon na Balik ito, balik. I-recover ang yuta. So, pwede na mawala yung possession pag i-recover ang sa owner. Mapalit ang balik sa owner ang iyang i-balik niya. So, okay. Hapit na dito moment. Uh, maybe before 4 p.m. Tapos na. So, in the existing laws related to property, so, tagahan ka yun siya class. Not to mention the others. But kani ang um, uh, or a major lap na mga loss on uh, related to property. So, part ni siya sa board exam. So, you need to study all this loss. So, we have here EO229, which is the mechanism of the implementation of the Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Program. PD27, Tenant Emancipation Decree. PD927, Subdivision and Condominium Buyers Protective Decree. PD 1529 Property Registration Decree, RA 386 or the Civil Code of the Philippines, uh, specifically in Book 2, which is talk about property properties ownership. Act Number 496 or the Land uh, Land Registration Act, uh, RA 4726 Condominium Act, uh, Code of Agrarian Reforms of the Philippines, uh, 6389. Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Law of 1988 or C6. Tapos si BP220, Economic and Socialized Housing Project. CA141, Public Land Act. CA310, Punishes the Transfer of the Private Agricultural Lands to Disqualified People. Uh, EO228, Declaring Pool and Ownership to Qualified Farmer Covered by PD957. EO407 accelerates distribution of suitable agricultural lands in public domain. And PD226 providing the mechan- mechanics of registering titles under PD227. And RA26 reconstitution of the Torrance title. So, share lang ako kung nasa kanin sa RA26 is. Um, Kanin mo siyang kibali, masunog ang kintahay, ang ROD. Si ROD is the depo- uh, ROD is uh, ang uh, repository no sa mga titles and deeds. So once si ROD is masunog, may masunog siya. So mali ang guidelines sa on pag reconstitute or sa on pag buhat ng trokong titulo. 
Idol Island. RA274, Subdivision Sale of the Idol Lands. Uh, RA456, Prohibits Registration of Delinquent uh, Documents of the, uh, Affecting Real Property. And uh, RA1191, uh, Relations Between the Landholders and Tenant of the Agricultural Lands. RA1199, Agricultural Tenancy of the Philippines. RA2259, Pedestrian Act. And RA6552, Realty Installment Protection Act or Masada Law. So usually, dali sa kanang mga uh, gabayan ng subdivision, uh, subdivision property. So there's an act no, to protect them. And next is RA7279, Urban Development and Housing Act of 1998. And RA8871, or the Indigenous People's Rights Act of 1997. Or, so, matakal dyan po ni siya tungod kay we need to uh, respect no, the titles of our uh, mga kahabilin sa itong mga uh, indigenous peoples. Alright, so that, that's the end of our presentation. No? So, natapos na tag sa'yo. Actually, class, nanong ako siya ni, ni Raman Six kay uh, Bili ko pa sa'yo kung ito na sa kong kuman. Lagi na maglaki ako ng story. So ako na lang siyang game. Uh, 6pm. Pero lagi. Um, Nahuman naman tag sa'yo. No, for now. And maybe. And maybe. Uh, by the next meeting. No, especially na, pag natin yung mga solving apart. So maagdan din siguro tag alasays. No? Or maagdan tag mga sa tong oras. Supposedly, I will schedule this meeting by tomorrow. But since uh, may uh, na ami uh, activity, no, na, sup na supposedly buhat yun, pero na cancel siya sadly. Pero ipadayan lang yapo na ko ang kanya kasi since na schedule naman siya. So before we're going to and any questions, pala, no, from the from the from you, no? from the thirty-five students uh, present here. Na may question? None so far, sir. Na yung mga i-clarify? None so far. Okay. So, by the way, class, no, after this one, I will going to upload the recorded video, recorded video of this um, um, online class. And afterwards is ato asya ki ako siya ka mag na kay quiz na ihatag na for for each topic then i uh, on asya and hopefully maka 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 klase pa ko next week no on time gusto na ko mag klase by Tuesday na po Tuesday i know Friday Friday kaya atong klase mo gud kay uh, sa gunson siya hapon from Monday Tuesday Thursday, Friday. Kaya Thursday, Friday is laboratory man. Sa dua ka section. Then, Monday, Tuesday is lecture. Pero since usually Monday to Wednesday is labi lang mukhang busy. No? Kaya ting, ting kuhan sa, sa, sa project. Munang Thursday or Friday back weekend that time. But I, I just want to to clarify na all the all the students no, isang pagbili ilang section basta kay free lang mukha ni nga time or they can mukha ni nga time. time. You can join. Hopefully by next meeting na to is Friday na po okay, para another section na po ang matagaan po. So is that okay with you all? Okay na ba mo? Um, for the exam, no, since ang, ang midterm exam na to is until topic 3. No, topic 3. So basically, dilit na kita makasabay sa exam by next week or sa departmental. But let's see what I can do para maapas ang tanan. No? Madili lang mag, madili lang mag makeup class. Ngayon lang yan po nga set up uh, online class. Na so sige, um, na, wala na siguro question or napay question. If none, none na ba? Wala na ba? Basta nun yan magpuan mo question sa ako. 
sige kung wala na B uh, going to stop presenting then let's have a group photo for a documentation purposes Sige, I'm requesting all to please turn on your cameras and uh, give your beautiful smiles. And, uh, okay. Wait lang ha. Okay, so, be. Isa pong may wala nag-open. Gamay pong may nag-open. Hmm. Sige. Be, okay. Ang uban wala pa. Si Peter, si Pamela, Gregorio, Nessa, Lydia, Rowena, Abigail. Ano pa? Sige. Okay. So, in a count of three, let's give a smile. Ready? One, two, three. Smile. Wait lang ha. Let's say another one. Ako sa mga Another one. In three, two, one, smile. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, no, for attending the virtual class. I hope to see you thank soon you, sir. for the next thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. topic. No. Thank you, sir. If you, thank you, sir. If you have questions, by the way, you, you can you, you can you can post or you can message me through our Facebook page. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye, everyone.